Hey, have you guys seen Petunia? Don't look at me, I'm just crab services. Petunia! Petunia! Spike, have you seen Petunia? No, I've been waiting for Oh her. my dog! 50 bucks she doesn't show. Yeah, she's kind of a ditz. Don't talk bad about my friend. 50 bucks she doesn't show. Okay, okay, she's not here. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Call it a day. What are we gonna do? Oh, Spikey, come here, buddy. What do you want with me? You are gonna be a star. I, I don't wanna be a star. No, no, this could work, this could work just fine, yeah. Um, no, yeah, this could work just fine. Um, let's see, we'll get you some makeup, and we'll get you into hair, or what is those, like, spikes or something? Yeah, this could work just fine. I'll go set things up. What kind of things are you going to set up? No, Spiky, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Just tr trust me, trust me here, okay? Trust you. Yeah, 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 this is going to be fun. You're going to go out, tell a couple jokes, ask a couple questions. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, just a few things, right off the top. Okay. Uh, Count Edward the Fourth. He's kind of evil, and he thinks he's a sheepdog. So just play with that, you know. Just play along with that because, you know, we don't want to make a man. What will happen if he gets mad? He's evil. Oh. Use your imagination. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be fine. Just so long as you don't make him too mad. This is going to work out fine. Just, 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 just trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Come on, let's go. Make up and hair. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Come on, okay, go, okay. go, go, go. I'm going, going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Late Nights with Petunia. Standing in for Petunia tonight. Our good friend, Spike! Tonight, we have special guest appearances by Turbo the Turtle! And we have an appearance by Count Edward the Fourth! Now, without further ado, please welcome your host, Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to be here, and I think I'll try to break the ice by telling a joke. Uh, it's a little more on joke. Once there, I forgot. <laughs> On with the show! Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to our first guest tonight, and that's Turbo, coming from Texas. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! How's everybody doing tonight? I just flew in and boy is my shell tired. Well, Turbo, how have you been? I've been doing just fine, Mr. Spike. I haven't seen you in ages. I know, since we were boys running along getting in trouble, right? Oops, I lost my hat. That's okay. Well, you know what, what they say, if my head wasn't attached. <laughs> yeah, same old Turbo. So what you been doing lately, Turbo? Well, as you mentioned, I am now the champion sprinter of Texas. Wow. I'm the fastest turtle in the old west. Wow, Lee, you yeah. really made a headliner there, huh? 
Oh yeah, it was tough. All the training I had to go through, and all the all the publicity and 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 paparazzi. Paparazzi too? Yeah, they all want to know what's going on when you're aiming to be the champion. Wow. They, they come into my little house, and they be. They'd be just taking pictures of me in the shower naked. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, I had to, had to get a few restraining orders. I don't know, you know, like once that shell comes off, it's like all the ladies want to see it. Oh my goodness, so you got lots of girly friends? Oh no, just, just my little groupies. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't settle down for no one. I just, I just do my thing. Oh, wow. Well, how's our hometown doing with all this? Well, it's the same old, same old, you know, nothing really happens in Texas. It's just hot and miserable. Oh, my word. I would think the whole town would come out to see you sprint. Well, they do. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm on the show or on, on the, on the route, you know, going around, running, sprinting, making all that, them crowds cheer. They all want front row seats. I only give front row seats to, to my good friends. Oh, and am I your good friend? Well, you've always been my good friend, Spike. We just kind of lost touch over the years. Yeah, yeah, I know how that is. Come to Hollywood, you know what happens. Yeah. Well, you now look at you with your big brand new show, and and you're the rock star, and you're on TV and camera, and and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and and I I didn't know you made it so big to have your very own show. Oh well, I guess so. Except for one little problem there, Turbo. Sure. This actually isn't my show. It belongs to Petunia, one of my friends. But Petunia? She, yeah, Petunia. Oh, well then why are you hosting it? Well, it's just that she got a little bit sick or something and didn't show up tonight for her first show, and so they, they stuck me in. But I was a little nervous, but, you know, you being here really helps. Oh, Petunia! You said, and I saw her! She's on on uh, the YouTube video where she has all that nasty stuff in her bag. Yeah, yeah, I that's see her. her. She's one whacked out little woman. Yeah, she is. She's a good friend, and I'm trying to be a good friend by filling in for her. I don't know how long I have to fill in, but I'm filling in the best I can. But you know about us Texans, we do what we can do for whoever we can do it for. Oh yeah, I know how it is, you know, but now that I'm a big old uh, champion, you know, and famous all over the world, I've been, I've been places you ain't ever dreamed of. I'll bet so. Who do you race against now? I race against anyone who think they can whip me. Oh, wow. If someone come out, you know, so, that's how it started. Before all the competition and all the all the medals and trophies you know it started out while people saying oh you just some little turtle and you know you can't go no faster than a snail and I can whip you in any race anytime you know and I used to just not let it bother me I used to just okay well I am a little turtle and you know, I'm comfortable with how I do my business, but eventually, you know, I just have to put them in their place because they don't let up, you see. Yeah. Once they say, okay, well, you know, now that you're just a little turtle, so you have to do what I say, you know, then I say, well, look here, you know, whoever, you know, I can race you anytime, anywhere. And and once once I, I race you, I'm gonna whip you, and and you're gonna have to eat your words. Well, there you go. It never matters how small you are, 
you can always try harder and get to where you need to be, that's for sure. Oh well, yeah, I used never to start... Never say never, right? Yeah, I used to start out at just them back alley, you know, races, you know, just little little show, showing someone, uh, you know, what what I'm about, you know, teaching them a lesson outside, right behind a bar or something, you know. And then eventually, you know, one one of the one of them uh, agents or, or or people that go out scouting, you know, he saw me in one of them races, and he saw how I whipped them, and he said, you know, I could get you to do this professionally, and I'm like, professionally, yeah, professionally, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll see what it's about, but I ain't gonna forget where it come from. There you, you go. Know, I, I'll race just like I always race for the same reasons I always race just to show people that just because you're a little turtle you can be fast as you want to be good for you now turtle good for you yeah that's a, I that's a good lesson to learn try to make me a sellout say oh tell them you know do a commercial will pay you thousands of dollars do a commercial just say Oh, even a slow little turtle can can race fast if you if if you shave with this shaving cream, you know. And, and I'm not about that because I'm not about to say, oh well, you have to use a certain product to be fast if you're a turtle. You know, I'm gonna be like, no, you can be as fast as you want to, um, um, whether you use a certain shaving cream. Or whether you use, you know, a, a certain laundry detergent or, or anything, really. There you go. You know, go. they want me to just say I'm only fast for one reason. That's, a, that's, that's their good, product. Yeah, that's and I, I, I don't sell that. Good for you. Good for you. Well, Turbo, it's really good having you on. I hope we have another interview soon. And when do you leave to go back to Texas? Uh, I leave. I leave to go back to Texas uh, when whenever I feel like it. I'm on vacation. Oh wow! So I just I got your invitation, and I decided. Oh well, I'm on vacation. I can I can spend some time, you know, out of my vacation for a good old friend I ain't All seen right. in forever. So maybe we can get together before you leave, and yeah. we'll go do. Something. I don't have any races lined up right yet because like, once you're the champion. Um, you don't have to race when people tell you to race. You know, you race when you want. The only races you have to do are the championship races when you're defending your title. And those only come out, like, once a year. All right. Yeah, so I only, I only race for fun now. And even if I have a bad day and lose one of the races, you know, I, I'll only lose my title if it's a championship race. Uh -huh. Well, good for you. Well, I wish you the best and hope we can see each other again before you go back and start racing again. And thank you for coming on, and we'll be back after this message. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have our second guest from Florida, Count Edward the Fourth. Yes, minions. Yes, minions. I am here to rule you all. You will all be herded. You will follow the path of the sheepdog. Well, here we are back again, and my next guest is Count Edward the Fourth. And I'm so glad to see you and happy for you to be here. How you doing there, Edward? Me, I'm always doing fine. And, mm. and where are you from? I'm from everywhere and nowhere. Okay. Uh, I was born in Florida. Oh, you're Floridian, huh? No. I am offended by that term. In the new world, you will not use that term. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, and what do you do for a living? I don't have to excuse you. I 
do whatever I please. I'm originally from the sheepdogs of ancient times. I, I am a sheepdog and I herd sheep. Oh my. And whatever I please, I will herd anything at any time. I will herd this cup. Herd, 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 herd. Oh, okay, okay. I'll herd these dog bones. And I'll herd everything. Okay, okay. Settle <laughs> down. Okay, okay. I, I, that's a little too much in my space there. Uh, Look here, Sonny. Down, Edward. You're 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 kind of a little whacked out, you know. You're you're off your rocker. I am not off my rocker. In the new world, you will not say that. Okay, Count. Uh, your Count. Speak. Your Count Edward the Fourth. What happened to the other three? They were my father and grandfather and great-grandfather. Oh. They were excellent sheepdogs. They herded sheep. Did you get lots of trophies? Trophies? What would we do with trophies? We have no need of trophies when we are the superior breed. We shall rule the world. <laughs> I shall soon be emperor. I, I, I think I think I, I I I think we need a station break right now. No, we do not take a station break when you're in my space. All spaces are could, my spaces. Could you please get back to your? I am hurting these things, and in the new world, I will be emperor, Count, and I will hurt everybody. Count Edward. What? Please stay in your chair. I don't have to stay in my chair. I, you haven't even heard how I will rule the world. Cat, cat, cat. You don't want to know. Cat. I will hear how you rule the world if you stay in your chair. Very well. Okay. Go ahead Peasant. and tell how you're going to. For now, when no one is looking, I will use my expert sheepdog powers. And I will herd the entire population of the world into cages and kennels and I will just herd them and once they are all caged up I will take over the world Ma. I think we need a station break we do not take station breaks I will herd you onto the table oh please somebody and, help me and I will me. herd you little turtle oh, man no. onto the table I, I heard everyone. Everyone goes where I heard them to be. I am an expert sheepdog. All right. It was very nice interviewing you. I hope you... The interview is over when yes. I say it is over. I think it's over. I we're, think we're, it might we're, be we're over, over too, but you wait for me to say. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the New World Order will be a haven for those who are sheepdog. Oh, God. Farewell, peasants. God, I wish Petunia was here. That was so scary, don't oh, you think Oh, so? Lord, that guy is so whacked out off his rocker. What producer that? put him on? Oh, my Your God. Your producer. I, we ain't mine. He's Petunia's. I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm so glad you were here, Turbo. Well, we're okay. Table's a little messed up, but he's gone now. He I done hurting I, everything. We'll have to get security to keep him out of here, I think. Well, go ahead and finish up your show. All right. And and hopefully uh, he didn't scare off the viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed our show and will not hold anything against us. No suing or anything, okay? It wasn't our fault he was a whack job. All right, bye for now.